everybody. My name is Kelfi B. This is gonna be a, another Get Ready With Me playlist video. Yay! Enjoy the next 30 Let's just go ahead and jump into it. I did a billion sound checks and it was, I couldn't really decide on anything, but hopefully the sound's okay. Is everybody excited to see Makeup Work It's Magic again? So this song is called Tomboy by Princess Nokia. A part of me feels like this song is about me, even though it's not. I have a little body and a big belly, but I have regular boobs. I wish I had itty bitty titties. Spotify thought I would like her. Spotify was right. So I'm getting ready to go take some pictures. Actually, not pictures. I'm going to make a video that I'm really excited about. This eyebrow. The Worst Guys by Childish Gambino. What is wrong with you? It's taking me like two songs to do my stupid eyebrows. Should I pluck it? Stop me. This is Sweetie. Agua. Another song about me. Havana. I like this song because I have a cat named Nana. It always reminds me of her. Oh, Nana. Bonana. I heard that when she went solo, because she's from some girl band, I don't know. They told her that she wouldn't make it. Supposedly, this is what I heard. Because her name was too hard to remember, or something like that. <laughs> but I still like the music. Even though I do have a hard time remembering her name. But it really isn't a complicated name. I just... This is a song by somebody called Marshmallow. But I don't really know any other Marshmallow songs. I just like the singer. Her name's like Annie Marie, I think. Or Anna Marie. I think it's Annie. It's just Anne Marie. I don't know why. A lot of my favorite songs are songs about like boys and girls fighting because like I really can't relate. <laughs> I think it's just like the tea, the drama. I mean, this song I guess I think is about like two friends and the guy likes her and she's like, you're gonna ruin our friendship if you don't stop. I can relate with, with that. Guys never want to just be your friend. Huh, babe? I was your friend forever. Well, now look where you are. No longer single. <laughs> I actually think, I don't know if I already said this, I think I have another Anne Marie song on my playlist too. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is it, this is the song. Anne Marie. But it's not with Marshmallow, it's just her. You said she's just a friend now. Why don't we call it? It's called something in Spanish or something. Ciao, adios.
It's a really catchy, like, melody. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's this one. Oh, she sang Chow Adios. I always... I, I never knew what she was saying, and I was trying to think about it right now. It sounds like she's saying Charity Horse I'm Done, which obviously she's not... And I just remember realized that the name of the song is Chow Audio. I never looked at the name of the song, I guess. I actually really like this song. I drank straight to my head. I went outside to smoke. I said, go red. And I shot my phone on the cement. But I was thinking about you. 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 If you guys think this is Miley Cyrus. You're pretty close. It's her sister, Noah Cyrus. A part of me feels like she's too young to sing this song. But then another part of me is like, she's probably like 21 or 22. She's probably like the same age as me. I don't know how old she is. Oh, look nice and waxy now. She's only 18? See? Ew! She's not old enough to sing this. Oh, Miley Cyrus is younger than me. What am I doing with my life? I don't know how to pronounce this person's name like legit. Oh, it's... Y A E J I. She's, I think I read that she's Japanese, but she sings like Japanese English songs. I'm not sure what those lyrics mean. A part of me feels like she doesn't like to wear like condoms or have the guy wear condoms, but then another part of me, I think what she really means is she's like down for the night and doesn't want to have like start a family or like get a boyfriend or whatever. There are so many uh, possibilities. Oh yeah, hey dog, hey what's up? Chill, but party at the same time. Like me. I don't really have Mother Russia in my cup, which I'm assuming is like vodka. Alrighty then. Let's wipe off my brush on my shirt. Make sure it's clean. I'm gonna go in with this burnt orange as a transition color. Because I know what that means. This isn't on my playlist. Ooh, it's called Jungle Pussy though. I might need it on my playlist. It's like five times funner than anything I've played. Sorry, I'm changing it. <laughs> this is such an opposite vlog. It's Ocean Eyes by Billie Eilish. I always want to say at them ocean eyes. At them ocean. Look at them ocean eyes. <laughs> Is it pathetic that I always feel sad when I hear songs about people with blue eyes? I'm so left out and discriminated against. Just kidding, there's a lot of brown eye songs too. Why I like so many sad songs? So many breakup songs. I never thought I would like a Post Malone song. Well, actually, I've never listened to him before. I always just saw pictures of him, and girls were like, he's so dreamy. I was like, I... And then I randomly heard this song, 
and my heart was like, girl, you love him. His voice is so... Oh my gosh, this is one of my new favorite, not only songs, but like groups, I guess. I always say bands, but I feel like there's no such thing as bands anymore. It's Grimes, it's like Grimes, but with the Probably that's not me. I actually looked up the words to this song and forgot them. I'm not sure when the CD came out. It's new to me. It's a new Slipknot song from a newer CD. And the song is called Devil and I. I really like it. I was listening to it and I was like, this band sounds like Slipknot. I like this whole CD, but this song reminded me the most of uh, one of their better CDs. I don't know how many. S There's that Subliminal Versus song. I don't know if the CD is also called Subliminal Versus. That was the last CD of Slipknot I ever bought. I feel like there's like five after that. But this song reminded me of that CD. This is not a new song. This is actually like, let me see. Let me try to do math. The song's on my list because the Gorillas just came out with a new CD. And when I went to go listen to it, I rediscovered this song. And it's my favorite Gorillas song. So I, Tilly's was my first job. I think I was about 17, 16 or 17, and the song played there all the time. <sighs> so that's pretty much like 10 years old. The song is so good though. It's a classic. If this The music video was like some guy driving forever. So I was like, imagine driving to the song. I've never really purposely listened to Ariana Grande, Grande, <laughs> Ariana Gandhi before, and. came out with that The Light Is Coming song and I really liked it. So, long story short, get to the point. I heard this song the other day and I didn't know if it was a new song or old song. But I'm pretty sure it's new because people have been talking about it. And people only talk about like stuff that came out that week. <laughs> it's hard to stay relevant. But I like this song. I didn't know. I always imagined Ariana Grande, like, I felt like she was just a singer for kids, you know? <laughs> that probably sounds dumb, but. Wasn't she on, like, Nickelodeon? Obviously, I guess she grew up. Ooh, I look just like Mary Kate right now. What kind of plastic surgery did I get? so red. It's because my... I usually don't have my blinds down 
but it's just so hot. If I had them up, the sun would literally melt me. That would probably be a cool video, I guess. Ugh. I just didn't film a bunch of this. I'm super annoyed. But the song is a new Diane Ward song. Yeah, I haven't watched any yet. And there's this video that came on after, and it was like letting you roast my bad pictures or whatever. Oh yeah, I and think I've seen that, that one. Picture of him with like his really bad like flat scene hair, <laughs> and he's wearing like a vest, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and this, that's what this hair <laughs> reminds me of. He's like the really flat scene hair. I'll just say the opposite of what they look like. Oh my god, you're in front of my camera. <laughs> this is the pistol I use. And the song's called Lemon Drop. I think it's the last song. A lemon drop, I'm sucking on a bitter to get to the sweet part. Ooh! So pretty much done. I need to do lips. But I don't know what I want to do. Just remembered that I was gonna be wearing like a black hat and I feel like I'm gonna look too gothy. I feel like I always have to try to look less gothic. I don't know why. Kind of because I have pale skin so I always look a little vampire-y. This is better. Alright, I think this is gonna be the finished look. And I want to show you guys two clothes because Comment down below if you guys uh, learned any new music, if you enjoyed any of the music, or if you hated it all. Yeah, so I filmed this look for like, okay, I'm making a lookbook, and uh, tonight's going to be one of the like locations that I'm going to, so look out for that. Have a good night. Comment, rate, and subscribe, please. I'm Kelsey B. That's little Elfie. And see you guys later. Bye.